So we have all of these different fundamental metrics. Everything is nice and neat, and you're ready to start sorting. Finance family, it's your other brother Adam Get Bags. The markets are closed today, but we're still getting after it. Today we're going to be downloading fundamental data from the TD Ameritrade API. Now, if you saw the previous video, stock price data, we're getting dailies stock prices from the TD Ameritrade API. So that has everything you need to get set up. So you should be able to have your authentication flow go through and start pulling data down out of the API. Of course, shout out Alex Golek and part-time Larry for the coverage here and Alex for creating this great library. For Steel, of course, you import their modules and then we have the authentication flow from the previous video. Now our first command here is our client.get quote. So you can pass a ticker into there or if you wanna get multiple tickers, then you can use this get quotes right here. That's gonna bring us back a host of information, uh, bid price, QSIP, house price, we got some volume information, and then 52 week high, low data. So just some basic information on the ticker there, mostly daily or intraday type stuff. And then also you, we have here our client.search instruments. So if you scroll up in his docs a little bit, you have this client search instruments here which allows us to retrieve fundamental data now you want to pass in the ticker here and then you want to pass in this client.instrument.projection and then you want to specify fundamental here so um, you can see here's your um, client here's your client here and then you have another class that gets pinned onto the back here and you can specify uh, fundamental right here now if you run that that's going to bring you back a whole host of different information. You got your 52 week high lows here, dividend information, some uh, price earnings ratio stuff here, margin information, EPS, you got rev, rev changes, and then of course a bunch of volume data, some dividend information. So super helpful. What you can go ahead and do is just pass in a couple more tickers and that's going to go ahead and retrieve actually a dictionary that has more dictionaries inside of it per ticker. And so then what we want to do here is kind of flatten this out into a data frame so that we can store all of our fundamental data. So let's go ahead and create that data frame. And then what we wanna do is for each ticker in the dictionary, we wanna pull that dictionary that corresponds to that ticker out. And then we wanna put it as a row to the data frame. So the data frame is gonna go by a row. So each stock is gonna have a row that has its own fundamental data in it. So then you can sort by different fundamental metrics. Now, one thing we wanna do is I guess we can just quickly take a look at data looks like we want to change the column titles you can see that column titles have this prefix fundamental dot and then we just want to find that and replace that for every column value so we're getting the new columns here or excuse me we're getting the old columns and then we're getting the new columns we're creating the new column names by just replacing fundamental dot and then we're creating a dictionary that maps the old column names to the new column names and then all we're doing is just replacing those column names in the data there so then let's go ahead and run that I mean that thing is really fast so I just changed that ticker to PBF it was supposed to be PBF not PDF so anyways you can see we have a nice and neat data frame that has all of our fundamental data and then we can kind of just preview our columns here for this data so we have all of these different fundamental metrics everything's nice and neat and you're ready to start sorting or do scans on a daily basis you want to find some high dividend paying stocks etc all right now even though the market's closed we're still going to get these bags Thank you.